Hello and welcome to the Tulane School of Architecture Digital Fabrication Tutorial Series. In this tutorial we will learn how to set up your laser cut files using Rhino and how to safely operate laser cutters. You can find the print portal on the Tulane School of Architecture's website by going to Explore and then clicking Digital Output Lab. On this page you will find resources in the sidebar such as the laser cutting guide which goes through the process we'll be outlining in this video. Also, you can find template files for Rhino and AutoCAD. Please download all of these resources and use them to successfully laser cut. To schedule laser cutting time at the GOL, click the Reserve Laser Time button. Then select Duration, Date, and Time. Then type your name and email address and click Done to add your booking to the calendar. You will receive an email and a calendar invitation to remind you of your appointment. In this tutorial, we'll be using Rhino to laser cut. If you're interested in using AutoCAD, the laser cutting PDF guide explains the instructions in detail. The Rhino file is set up with the correct layers to use for etching and cutting. It also includes the correct 18 by 32 inch bounding box for laser cutting. Do not put any geometry inside the outer hatch area as it may not cut properly. When your file is ready to be laser cut, you can copy and paste it into the laser cutting template by selecting all and copying to clipboard using Control c and pasting using Control v New layers might show up in the sidebar. Select which layers should be etched or cut and move them to the proper layers. Select your lines and go to the properties bar and make sure that all settings are set to by layer. You can run into issues with the laser cutter not registering line work if one of these settings is different. Use the command cell dupe to identify any duplicate lines and delete them. If you have duplicate lines in your design, the laser cutter will cut the same spot more than once and most likely burn your material. Save your file to the public folder or on a flash drive and bring it to the DOL. The digital output lab is located on the first floor of Richardson Memorial Hall. We have three VLS 660 laser cutters with three computer stations. Open your file on one of the computers in the DOL. These computers have drivers installed to print the laser cutters. In Rhino, click File, then Print. I recommend following the PDF when you print for the first time to make sure these settings are correct. Select VLS 660 from the drop down menu. Make sure the output type is vector and the output is print color. Under View and Output Scale, select Window and select the boundary of the 18 by 32 print region. Click Enter to return to the print dialog. Make sure the scale is set to 100% with the paper units matching the model units. Nothing should be changed for margin of position, line types and line widths, or printer details. Click Print to send your file to the laser control panel. Click the red icon in the bottom right to open the Universal Laser Systems control panel. This program is used to interface the laser cutters. The menu in the top left shows the name of your file and the date it was created. On the bottom left, the text shows the status of the machine. On the top right, you have the power button, play and pause buttons, and additional calibration tools. You can use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in or out, or use the zoom button. The focus view button allows you to click anywhere in the cutting bed to move the laser. You can use the relocate view button to move your geometry, or the Duplicate View button to make copies. Finally, the Estimate View button lets you see how long the file will take to cut. The Settings button will open up settings for cutting your material. You can click the Load button and find your material and the settings will update. After clicking on black, you will see the Power and Speed settings. We adjust the settings to get better quality cuts. Black is the etching layer, so you could decrease the power and increase the speed to calibrate it. Click the Set button to save your changes. If you click OK or any of the other colors, your edits will not save. Click on Cyan to adjust the settings. For cutting, you would want the power to be higher and the speed to be lower. Again, click on Set to save the settings. The initial settings might not be completely accurate, so I recommend going back into Rhino 
to send a small test of a rectangle with some etching lines to make sure your file cuts all the way through and does not burn. You might need to cut two or three rectangles with different settings before you find the one that works for your project. I'm using the etch and cut layers to create tiny envelope to test my settings. There are a couple of steps you must follow before laser cutting. If you have any questions at all, ask the DOL student worker for assistance. Make sure to turn the exhaust fan on before you start working. This will reduce risk of fires and must be on when laser cutters are in operation. The exhaust fan is very loud. If you do not hear this noise, you should not be laser cutting. The next step is to clean the lens. Now that the exhaust fan is on, you can turn on the machine. Open the lid and unscrew the screws holding the lens cover. Pull the lens and mirror assembly out of the machine, making sure not to touch the lens or the mirror. Clean the lens with cleaning solution and a Q-tip, making sure to dry it with the other side. If the exhaust fan isn't on or the lens isn't clean, it could crack and start to fog up. If the lens you're cleaning looks like one of these, please let the DOL employee know so we can change it. Next, calibrate the Z-axis with the focusing tool. It can be found on the side of the machine or on one of the computer shelves. Place the tool on top of your material and use the up and down buttons on the front of the machine to align the notch to the edge of the laser. Once you have turned on the exhaust fan, cleaned the lens, and calibrated the Z-axis, you should be all set to laser cut. Do not leave the DOL while you're laser cutting and keep a close eye on your cut. In case of fire, we have a fire blanket and fire extinguisher on the wall. Once you're done cutting, make sure to turn off the laser cutter and the exhaust fan. Do not leave any material on the DOL and throw away your scraps. Thank you for watching this tutorial and stay safe. Thank you.